We've looked at organizing sounds based on attributes and categories and tags and metadata, but Omnisphere has another way called a project to organize sounds. Now, a project is a user-defined collection of sounds that's organized into a single group, and you can base this on whatever is meaningful for you. Maybe it's a current job you're working on. Maybe it's a film. Maybe you want to organize up a bunch of sounds that you want to call up for different film cues or different styles of music or maybe an album you're working on or a song. The idea is that we can create our own categorization of patches that we can call up. And these are called projects. And these can include multis as well. So not just patches, but multis and sound sources. So you can have them based on whatever is meaningful for you. So it's basically another way of organizing the complex library that ships with Omnisphere. Now, all project functions are handled from this projects sharing menu. Now, we have this category over here, and you see that we can switch to project here. And it's empty right now because there's no projects. Let me go back to category. And we go to projects from here, and I'm going to create a project. And maybe I'm going to call this film Q1. And I want to gather up a bunch of patches, hypothetically, that I might be interested in using for a film queue that I'm working on. Let's create another project. Now, first of all, let's go show projects. And now this will switch to projects over here, and we'll see there's film Q1, the project that we've created. Let's create another one. Maybe I'm going to call it my client album. Maybe I'm looking for sounds that are all heavy metal sounds for one specific album. And maybe I'll create one more. I'm going to go create project again, and I'll call it sound design ams. Maybe I want to gather up a bunch of sounds that I want to use for sound design. So the idea is that we can add sounds very simply to whatever project we're working on. So I'm showing my projects, and here they are. And all I need to do to add a sound is select it. And maybe I'm going to add that one to my sound design album. I just click there, and now that's in sound design. I'll go there, and I'll put that in sound design as well. Just click it like that, and put that one in sound design. And let me just shuffle these. And... I'll put this one maybe in my client's album. Maybe this one in my client's album again. Just trying to load in a few just to show you how it works with the projects. And I'll put this one in my film queue. Of course, I'm not auditioning them. This isn't really being done in any meaningful kind of way, but it's just to illustrate the point. So now I have my projects here and I can select them. And there's film queue and there's the two patches that I've selected for film queue. There's my client's album. And there's the patches I've selected for that, complete with all the tags. And sound design ams, they're the ones I've selected for that. So a very useful way of organizing the patches in a way that's useful for you. You can create as many projects as you want and just gather sounds and add them to categorizations that are useful for you. Now, it's important to understand that nothing has actually been moved. No files are moved anywhere. This is just an organizational tool. We can remove sounds by just clicking on the sound. And this is in Sound Design Ams. If I go up there and check that, or uncheck it rather, now it's removed. I'll remove this one from here as well. Just remove the check mark and it's gone. And you can have the same sounds apply to multiple projects if that suits your needs. Now we can also rename projects. Again, all the management is under here. I can rename Film Q1, maybe called Running Down the Street, just for fun. So you can name it whatever you want, getting prompted with a little warning, that's fine. And we can also share sounds. There's the new name, by the way, and we can see it here as well. And we can share sounds. And to do that, we go to here and we go to the share sounds, and I can share whichever project I want. Let's say this one, for example. And it's going to prompt me to save it at a specific location. And it's going to create a .omnisphere file. And this is great for sharing with other users. I'm going to click cancel for the moment. And we can import projects from other people, other .omnisphere files that are maybe sent to us. And we get to there to add sounds. And we, again, just navigate to where they are and click open, and they'll be added to our projects. And we can delete projects very simply by just going there and deleting them. And again, nothing is being removed from the hard drive. This is strictly database style type management. So it's yet another tool for organizing your sounds, and you don't need to be in this project view. What you can do, and this is one way I like working with projects, is just browse regularly the way you normally would, set up a bunch of projects for what you think might be useful, and whenever you come across a sound that you like or want to save or bookmark for another occasion, just go there, add it 
to whichever project you have available. And it's a good way of thinking about it, kind of like bookmarking a sound for later recall. So I'm just adding sounds as I'm going about my normal course of working. Maybe I find one there that I like that might fit this one, for example. And then when you're ready and you want to work on that project, you can then switch to project view from there and you'll get all the sounds called up that way. See you for more in the next video.